Hello everyone on YouTube, it's Jordan here again, your favourite computer security expert. I would like to give you all a warning about the Braille Sense U2 and the possible threats you could face while using the device. The Braille Sense U2 is not secure. It is an iffy based Linux machine, even though HIMS claim to, to say it has Windows. It is not a Windows device. I just want to point out to you that I have found viruses on the Braille Sense that have come with the um, system. You can find them in the system drive. You just type in flash disk slash two periods dot four six for the period that is. Press um, enter on that. And you should be in your system drive now in your NAND folder under apps are the viruses that Windows is detecting whenever the Braille sense connects to a Windows 7 device now as far as I know I've seen many computers get infected by some of these viruses and when we try to connect my Braille sense to the PC well it didn't go too well. Windows ended up blocking it because it had a suspected virus on it. So, how can you minim how can you minimize the risk of getting a virus from the Braille Sense? One, discontinue using the Braille Sense. The Braille Sense is not safe to use. You do not want to carry on using the product. Two, get something much safer like the Braille Note Touch from Humanware. Three, never rely on HIMSS technical support. If you go onto the website, the HIMSS website, with Google Chrome, and then where it says view site information, you'll see that the site is not secure. This means that there is a big risk you will find malware on the site. And, Once I downloaded something from a HIMSS website and Windows Defender removed it. This just goes to show that there is malware on the HIMSS International site. The HIMSS USA site happens to be a secure site. But please remember the Braille Sense was originally not made by HIMSS. HIMSS just stole the name from GW Micro before GW Micro discontinued their services. Let's go over some more things. To protect yourself from receiving scam products, make sure that the make sure that the vendor you're buying the product from is legitimate. And in this place, in this case, the Braille Sense is being sold through a legitimate product. You know, through a legitimate comp, uh, legitimate organization, but at the same time by an illegitimate company. If your website has an HTTP extension and doesn't have an S on it, it's a big sign that hackers are trying to attack the website, or there may be hackers on the website. You should avoid visiting that website. This is how you know there may be viruses on the site. So, you know now not to use a virus infected device. So, the only way you can clean your Braille Sense from these viruses is by deleting everything from the system drive. Even though you can't install anything else other than that. But, th but those viruses are the only things that can be installed in it. It's like Citrio, an iffy based Google Chrome browser. But we'll talk about Citrio in another video. But for now, please be aware, <laughs> Braille Sense users, that you have been using a malware infected device all along. If you've been using it for the past couple of years since it sent the support date back in 2016. All computers can get malware on them, and the Braille Sense is no exception. 
Even the braille sense can be infected with viruses. And there is no such thing as being invisible on the web, because websites need to know the device that you're using in order to act in order for you to have the best experience on the website. So what does Microsoft say about the Braille Sense U2? Well, it turns out absolutely nothing. I did a search on Microsoft site and there's nothing. So it just goes to show that hymns are making, um, are just set marketing it so that it looks like Windows and it even looks like it's from Microsoft, but it isn't. And for one thing, Microsoft never misspell any words. The Braille Sense U2's manual is misspe has misspelled words. In, in section two, instead of organizer, it's organizer. Also, if you use the Bookshare download in version 8.6, it says this content is currently available. Now that you can definitely tell that is misspelled. A lot of dodgy websites and a lot of hackers will often misspell words. And I've and I've noticed this in a lot of things. So um, that's just my warning video on why the braille sense is not safe at all now in 2019 a year where many hackers would like to um target older windows operating systems so in order to stop hackers from doing so i recommend using modern software and modern technology because it's for our good so now that that's my 101 video over with 101st let's see some more videos that I'll be doing in the near future Windows tips and tricks from Jordan episode 8 how to use Windows Defender some more demos of the Yamaha PSR E413 keyboard if you love keyboards my predictions on the L Braille from Freedom Scientific. And of course the Braille Note Touch Plus. What I think it should what I think it has. So be sure to tune into those. I'm Jordan Livesey signing off saying have a good day everyone. Agree with everything you say. Well, thanks to flipping Microsoft Outlook, I have lost my camera access. Let's try that again. This is Jordan Livesey signing off saying have a good day everyone.